I never thought that I would make this video, but it's time. They finally got Diddy. They finally got him. And, but the thing is, there's so many more men out there, just like Diddy, who are, who use their fame to lure women in and And I wanted to come on here to say that it is time to out every single abuse industry, every single one. They. We, they all need to be held accountable. And the thing is, I would be a hypocrite if I came on here and I was telling other women that they need to speak up if I'm unwilling to speak up. I was in Chris house by his friend, Sage the Gemini. Yes, I know, I should have never been at Chris Brown's house in the first place. This happened when I was 18 years old. I'm 26 now, um, as of today. And I should have never been there. But Sage the Gemini, at his house. Chris Brown friend when she was underage. She was under the influence and she was 16 years old. These are were on two different occasions. But the thing is, all these men, all these they hang out together. Chris Brown and Sage the Gemini are I have I been afraid to come out all this time? You want to know? It's because right after Sage he had me sign a paper saying that everything that happened was consensual. And he was my Uber drive. Uber, he, he got me the Uber to Chris Brown's house. And he, I didn't have any money. And I needed him to, to get me the ride back. And, like, I, I didn't know if he was going to, I didn't know what was going to happen if I, in that moment, I was in shock. I couldn't believe that he, I like, I, I don't really know how to talk about this. Um, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that Chris Brown and Sage the Gemini are, um, and I think that we all, all of us. Well, that is a lady a white woman in make, making her more dangerous accusing Chris Brown and another rapper Sage of unspeakable crime in Chris Brown's house upon few years ago about eight years ago <laughs> And of course, guys, uh, if you want to hear the clear uh, uh, video, because I definitely will mute some of the words because they are unspeakable, like I've said, just head over to the Telegram. Of course, you're going to hear her really, really clearly to know exactly what she's accusing Chris Brown and the uh, Sage of. And meanwhile, Sage already said all those things are completely false. And meanwhile, Chris Brown hasn't said anything yet. I will know we are just talking about Didi. So I just wish. If this guy is lying, then Chris Brown need to do something really, really fast by suing her for defamation of character. Because you guys know, we have seen a lot of women accuse Chris Brown and uh, none has been able to successfully uh, charge Chris Brown. Chris Brown has all this counter sue. The only issue ever recorded of Chris Brown is from Rihanna. Rihanna. No one, nothing else again. From Rihanna only. Well, Chris Brown need to counter sue. This is exactly my fear for our Afrobeat artists, guys. This is exactly my fear for our Afrobeat artists. Those BB guys out there, Whiskey, David O, Bonaboy, Asake, Rema, CK, Ruga, Flavor, fin, uh, Fino, uh, Olamide, uh, Crayon, those uh, superstars, uh, Adekulego, so many of them guys who are currently killing it when it comes to the uh, European market, the white market, you understand? You guys need to be extremely, extremely careful because no matter what you do now, if you think Tomorrow, next, tomorrow, four days ago, one month ago, okay, everything has, is gone. Just imagine a girl. I don't actually believe how 
But just imagine a girl coming out eight years later to start talking. And you know, she's not just a girl, a white girl. If she was a black, <laughs> then I would say, okay, but we are talking about a white girl who making her more dangerous. She will gain more sympathy than a, a regular girl out there. Please, superstars, be careful. All those uh, Hollywood uh, superstars have, 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 have entangled themselves into crazy lifestyles. And those crazy lifestyles they were undergoing there were being recorded by music executives just to hold them trapped. By new music moguls, just to hold those black artists, those white artists, those uh, white uh, artists trapped. Making them do what they never would want to sign up for. Please be careful, guys. Afrobeat is going to the world. I'm a piano and the rest. I'm talking about the entire Africa artists. Please. Because as soon as they get one, they are coming for the rest of you guys. The music is booming and the music exec executive want a big cut, a huge cut, majority of the cut from your jail. They need it and the only way, one of the easiest way to get it is to keep inviting you guys to some crazy house party, doing some crazy things, set you up with a woman you thought that they've already cleared from the gate. And the woman has already uh, has stated her age and everything. And then you will be blinded enough to follow that girl. Not knowing her age is not, don't knowing that it was set up. Then you run into the trap. They have a record of you. And they will come to you tomorrow and be like, you have to do exactly what we tell you to do. You have to take exactly what we give you without complaining. Without complaining or else, we are going to ruin your career. Yes, they do that. They do that. You have to be careful, guys. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful, please, Afrobeat entertainers. Be careful because all those Hollywood superstars are already tied up. They have nowhere to go. They already in it. They have already, uh, they, they already trapped them. So you have to be extremely careful as an African artist, most especially Afrobeat. Please be careful. Do not allow them to own Afrobeat. Do not allow them to own African music. I know some of you do not even like being called Afrobeat artists. But do not ruin our reputation because music and movies are one of the, one of the clean reputation we have coming from Nigeria. Please. People should be extremely careful. I don't know how Chris Brown and that guy are going to work. I don't, I don't know because the issue has not actually come up. It's just a woman making accusations a few days ago. And we do not know what will come out from there next. So that being said, let's talk about uh, this guy. Apparently, this guy is in Nigeria. I don't know if he's in Nigeria. But if he's in Nigeria, oh, good and fine then he's doing exactly what we want Nigerians to do with SA girls. He's dating one of the, uh, one of the top notch girl in South Africa. Her name is Flavor something right there, like that. Uh, uh, top notch South African girls. And South African guys are not happy. They think the guy is a froster. And they think the guy is a uh, jollof fine froster. And the, the guy is not is doing something illegal to be able to nail such a nice lady from uh, South Africa. Well, guys, like I've said before, I've never heard about this guy being from, from Nigeria. But since he's doing the, exactly the thing that I have been advocating uh, Nigeria guys to be doing, like taking care of their girls way more better. I'm not saying doing all crazy stuff or taking care of their girls way more better than the way South Africa are taking care of their girls. As long as she is doing that, I am, I am fully supporting her, uh, supporting him, man. Fully supporting him. As long as he's taking care of the uh, of your girl way more than... If you ever check some of all those top-notch girls from South Africa, mainly, uh, and mainly 
focus or should I say I'm mainly attracted to Nigeria guys. I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the juice, if it's the swag, if it's just the culture. I don't know why, I don't know, but definitely we are doing something right. We are doing something right for your girls to be coming to us and proudly coming to us, not just coming to us, proudly and not even uh, thinking about what you guys think about uh, Nigeria guys. Proudly. So that means we must be doing something, something at least. We must be doing something great. Something, something great. Must be doing something, something great. So big up to that guy. I don't know his name. And he's actually doing something really, really nice, man. And let's take the time to check this picture. The past Big Brother Ninja ladies, some of the ladies from Big Brother Ninja. And I can only count only a few there. About five of them, but I know them, but not by their name. I only know Messi Ike be one of the popular Big Brother Ninja girls and they are representing real well. Representing well. Mm. 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 Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. They are representing well. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, guys, uh, let's move past that. Thank you very much for watching the boy again. I'm Slink. Catch you next time. Peace.